So I have a message for Danny Lee. She doesn't even go here. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you guys don't know, there is this artist, and I use that term loosely, yeah, called Danny Lee. And um, she came up with a video, and the video is called Yellow Bone. And as a result of this video and the title, or was it even a video? She actually just released a snippet of the song and was dancing to it on like TikTok. Um, but as a result, she is being dragged left, right and centre. All her edges has come out of her head. Um, and I just want to talk about it. And do you guys want to know what the best part of the situation is? She's not even black. But before I get into this video, please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, and put on the notification so you can be notified every single time I drop a video. Now I have several things to get into about this situation. First things first, the video, the song, the everything is trash, yeah? And I'm not even trying to, it's not even about the content, I'm telling you from my own ears, it's trash. I don't even, I can't compare it to anything that I know. Like, to me, is this a parody? Are you serious? Like, the song is trash. Let me just play you guys a quick snippet. Like, at this point, what is music? Like, did some, did nobody tell her this ain't it? I can't even understand anything that she's saying. Besides Yellow Bone, I can't, I can't tell you guys what she's saying in this song, honestly. And it's not a bop. She's bopping. Like, it's not a bop. This is not a bop. And also, for real, guys, she's dating the rapper, the baby. So you would think he would tell her if he loves, if he likes, if he loves her, wouldn't he tell her that sis, they, this ain't it? It's not even the title. I'm just talking about the bop itself. Like everything about this song is just wrong. And it, it, this ain't this ain't it, sis. This ain't it. So the second thing I want to get into is her response to being dragged. That's what I want to get into. Okay, that's what I want to get into. So when she drops a song on her Instagram, it said yellow bone, that's what he wants. And then he's putting loads of yellow emojis, fine. Then after being dragged, she goes, why I can't make a song for my light skin baddies? Why y'all think I'm hating on other colors when there are millions of songs speaking on all types? Why y'all so sensitive and take it personally? G damn, okay, excuse me. Instead of you to like, okay, let me, okay. I feel like we just need to pick this, this apart, yeah? Cause, she starts off by saying, this is for her light-skinned baddies. Sis, you're not, you're not even black. And it's funny, I've literally had a conversation with like, I've recently been having loads of conversations with Topical Juice. He's a YouTuber, check him out. About like, colorism and stuff like that. We've been going, we've been talking about it. And it's like, look at this girl. She's not even a part of our community. And she's here being divisive. And then you're saying for my light-skinned baddies, you're not, you're not light-skinned. Like guys, this is her parents. Guys, have a look at what her parents look like. Like, it's insane that people are out here causing division and you're not even a part of the community. So what are you doing? Why are you even speaking? I just feel like it's cool to be black. It is, it is. I'm not, not lying, it, it is. But this is insane. Like, how can you just come in here and try to be divisive and you have nothing to do with this situation? Like I said in the beginning of the video, she doesn't even go here. Like, what? And then she references that there are a lot of other songs out there about colour. Okay, yes, there are. Okay, I'll give it to her. Some of our faves make songs like that. Some of them are bops and I don't per se like specific lyrics. But if it's a bop, I might still listen to it. But this is not a bop. And she best not be trying to reference like brown skin girls by Beyonce because that song is about uplifting women and your song is about division. And you're not even a part of the community, so don't even try it. Like, you're actually annoying me. Like, you got me screaming on a Saturday morning. Like, what are you actually on about? Some other tweets that she says is, I'm Dominican, I'm Spanish, I'm black, I'm white, leave me alone. Done talking, about to post how fine I looked yesterday. So you can tell her looks up is everything to her. Like, you can already tell, like, that's the most important thing to her and that's what gives her relevance. That's why she thinks she's better than other people because of her looks, fine. Fine, like, all right. Then she also says, I'ma keep letting God bless me while y'all sit back and judge me and sit behind your little phones and type shit about another woman. Y'all all haters. Again, this is another problem that I have. If someone disagrees with you, does that make a hater? No, I'm not even, this is not even a rhetorical question. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm asking and answering the question. That does not make a hater. What you did, people didn't like it. So why does that make someone a hater? Because it's not just dark skinned black girls that have, that have a problem with this video. It's also other light skinned black girls that have a problem with this video. All of us black women are looking at you like, you don't, you're not, you're not invited to the cookout. You're not, you're not, this is not your conversation. So 
Don't be saying that people are hating because if she's saying that people are hating because of the way she looks, what about other girls that look just like you that are actually light skin that are that have a problem with this? And one thing that really annoys me is when people bring God into it. It's just, I'm just, you've already like, I'm already not listening once you start mentioning God because God ain't got nothing to do with your ignorance. Don't even try that. It's not like, oh, no, 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 no. This ain't got nothing to do with God. This is your L. Stop dragging him involved. He's got nothing to do with what you're doing right now. So just leave that situation alone. And then another thing she says is, congratulations, y'all got another thing to say about me when you hate. You see what the problem is, yeah? I didn't even know who this girl was before the showroom started posting her. So she's going on like she's relevant based off her own music no it's because i don't maybe she's paying the shade room to post her and she's dating the baby don't no one really know or care about you outside of those things so i'm just confused and then she goes on to say it's all good only god can cancel me that shit don't mean shit to me because people around me are the ones that know my heart and my intentions and real life i'm sorry if i offended you ah give that sorry to the birds sis because that's not if i offended you people are offended don't say if that's the if part irritates me don't i'm sorry if I... no that's not a real apology anyway so after all of this all of this all of this with her chest she ends up deactivating her twitter account yesterday and it's just like you walked yourself into this you should have just seen that people were offended and i was just going to stop doing what i was doing but you wanted to, to stand by your stance I ain't, there's no problem in what i'm saying so i'm just gonna do as i do and that's where you flopped and i think this is something very common in the um american community south american community um a lot of women want to start claiming afro latina when they wasn't claiming that before but because being black is cool they want to start claiming it this reminds me of like evelyn lasata i think her last name is or even veronica vega let me play you guys this clip i just wanted to know what ethnicity do you identify as i'm black as black not everyone from south america has a black heritage there are some white latinas which she clearly is parents again and there are actually people that are afro latina like amara la negra like she is you can tell guys hello so this just ain't it she's giving me that rachel rachel you no know rachel duzal remember that woman that worked for the um naacp and said that she was black but she got white parents again this is the example this is the vibe that Danny Lee is giving me. She's giving me that type of vibe. But at least that woman was trying to do something positive. No, she didn't belong to the community, but at least she was trying to do something positive. This girl is just causing division for what? And I kind of slightly blame B. Simone for this. If you guys don't know, B. Simone, she's a comedian. Um, I, I think, yeah, I follow her on Instagram. And she basically is in love with the baby. And when the baby got with Danny Lee, she made a whole eight minute video about why Danny Lee was better than her. And she referenced her heritage as in Danny Lee's heritage, Dominican heritage, for a reason why she feels like the baby's gone for her. Let me just play you guys a tiny clip. See, okay, here's the thing. Dominican they already have the upper hand. <laughs> because it's something in their blood that ma genetically makes them sexy. That's the problem. So look at the way this woman gassed this girl. And on top of it, Danny Lee actually reposted the whole video of um, B. Simone praising her, uplifting her. B. Simone even confirmed to her that your heritage makes you attractive. Your heritage is what makes you stand out. So what we are, us just regular black people, we ain't, you know what I mean? We ain't got nothing on her because, oh, she's Dominican. And again, Danny Lee, she is a beautiful girl, but we all have beauty. And it's just like, I don't think, I'm like, I'm not gonna say he picked somebody because of something, like to me, even if, if a guy was gonna pick someone based off their heritage, I, would, I don't want him anyways. But again, she, this whole thing is just weird. Like, people are just behaving weirdly. And I, I can't even, like, I understand why Danny Lee's behaving like this. She's still wrong. But people like her gassing her up. Even still, I heard allegedly the song is actually a diss to um, the baby's first baby mama. Or only baby mama. Let me not say. Let me say child's mother. I don't like that term, baby mama. Child's mother. Um, and she's a dark-skinned black woman. And for me, she bad. If we're going to talk about it, I think she's really, really beautiful. But allegedly, it's a diss to her. Now, first things first, if this is true, if you're trying to diss her, put her name on it. Because when you don't put her name on it, it can hit anybody. Anyone can get hit by that word or by your context or by your song. You should have put her name on it. That's why all these indirects put her name on it. And then second of all, why do you think you have an upper hand because of your skin colour? That's problematic. Why can't you just be like, oh, I'm prettier than her. I have nothing to do with colour, but I'm prettier than her. Or I have a good job. I'm college educated. Just stuff like that. I'm a rapper or whatever. I don't know what she does for a living. This Danny Lee, I swear, I don't know what type of music she creates. But those types of stuff. Why are you, why is your claim to fame your colour? 
that's problematic this is problematic guys if i'm honest the song should have been called white bone because that's what she is i'm sorry i'm not even trying to be i'm not even trying to front or like tan bone or something like that but she's not a part of our community it's disgusting that people even outside of our community are trying to cause division with in our community like we are really trying hard to take away these stereotypes these negative things like oh light-skinned people are soft and dark-skinned people are aggressive like all this type of stuff we're trying to like eradicate these views and people like her just continue to perpetuate it i'm even surprised because she's a female you usually see the men perpetuating like no shade guys but that's just what i see um and look at her trying to perpetuate it like there's nothing wrong being straight dominican there's nothing wrong with being white latina there's she's a beautiful girl but don't even try and come up in here causing division and thinking that you're better than someone because of your your skin color it's it's disgusting she needs to grow up she needs to grow up and she needs to like get some help if that's what she really thinks honestly like and the baby like that's your girl you know you have a black daughter so that's sending shots to your bet your baby like hello this is just people not thinking about the wider picture and like the mental effect it can have on people like thankfully i'm I, like i don't this type of conversation don't affect like offend me too tough because i'm so used to it but i want us to do better and i will keep on talking about it until we do better like she really needs to when she comes back on instagram because i know she will run a proper apology take away if i offended you because people are clearly offended say you're you're, you're i'm sorry for the division i caused that wasn't my intention it was very ignorant of me to do this and it won't happen again i don't think i'm better because i'm da 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 and also she needs to say in that apology i'm not black because she needs to say that because she's convinced she is i don't know why an old tweet of hers did come up and she says i look like a black girl ha 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 so if you look like one, that means you ain't one. Because I can't say I look like one because that's what I am. <laughs> I can't look like anything other than what I am. So you already know you're not. You already know you're not. Now you're trying to... Like, honestly, guys, look at the side-by-side -side -side pictures of this girl. Like, is she doing blackfish? I don't know. Yes, no, I do know. She is. She is, guys. She is. Um, so, yeah, I, don't, I just don't really... I'm not really interested in seeing her anymore. I feel like, blogs, can we stop posting her just because she's dating the baby? Like, we don't care. We don't care. Like... Again, I'm not, again, I don't believe in cancel culture still, but I just don't care for sis. Again, I didn't care for her beforehand, and I don't care for her now. If, if you guys like her music, then mm, keep on playing it. That's up, that's up to you guys, but this is just for me. But thank you guys for watching this video. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.